the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Friend, your heart and not your garments. When you pray, go into a room and pray in secret. When you fast, do so in secret. These are difficult words to hear all the time, but particularly on Ash Wednesday, as we will in a few moments mark ourselves in a very public way. We'll mark ourselves and put our fast and our, our piety on display. Jesus warns us to beware of practicing our piety in public. It's a difficult thing to think about on Ash Wednesday. What is this outward sign that we place on our heads? For me, the word that has been bubbling up as I've been thinking about Ash Wednesday this year is... Well, now I forgot my word. <laughs> Vanessa, do you remember my word from this morning? It's just a statement. <laughs> well, it's a great word. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem of preaching without notes. I talked about it in staff meeting. You don't remember? <laughs> I'm just absolutely drawn a blank. Well, Ash Wednesday is a symbol of sacrifice, though that's not the word that I had in mind. Ah, my word just came to me. Vulnerability. This is a vulnerable act, standing in front of someone and preaching. <laughs> but it's true. I think, I think the, the symbol of ashes on our forehead is a symbol of vulnerability. God became vulnerable before us, that's part of what we're going to be practicing in the weeks ahead as we move into Lent. We're going to be remembering and thinking about the effects of that on all of our lives, the vulnerability of God in the person of Jesus. And all God asks in return from us is to be vulnerable. Have you ever had one of those friendships where you were vulnerable and the other person wasn't? I've had those in my life. I expect all of you have also. But it feels very one-sided. It feels like you were not really connecting with one another. It makes the friendship feel hollow. When we practice our piety in public and when we rend our garments instead of our hearts, these things that we read about this evening, those are not vulnerable acts. Those are powerful acts, actually. They're expressions of power, but what God wants instead is expressions of vulnerability. God wants us to open ourselves to God because only then can God come in. So as you come forward in a few minutes and receive this sign of penitence and piety on, your, on yourselves, I invite you to think about ways that you can be more vulnerable to God and to this community in the weeks ahead. The thing about vulnerability is there is risk. You could make yourself vulnerable and stand up in front of a room of people and forget what to say. You can share yourself with another and they could not like what they see. They could turn you away. But with the risk, there is reward. The God who sees in secret will reward you. Amen. Amen. Amen.